All right, so last time we practiced doing realistic portrait proportions. This time we're going to talk about more cartoon style or even anime style with proportions that are a little bit different. So they're going to be a little bit more exaggerated. So again, when we're drawing portraits, we're going to start with the face or the head shape, and then we're going to use tools like markers for halfway or quarter of the way to kind of give us those guidelines for how to put in the features of the face. So we're always using those proportion guidelines to help us draw. So you can see here a few examples of different anime styles, and they start with the, the head shape, they put on the jaw on the bottom, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Um, and then we're still splitting things in half to really get those proportions. We've got these more contoured lines when the character is looking different ways because this front view is a little bit static. It's a little bit boring. But you can always do a front view. That's totally fine. So we start with the head shape, add the jaw, put in the lines for the eyes. This is going to be in the, the halfway point of your head again, just like in our more proportional, realistic drawings. Um, because anime style and cartoon style really still follow a few rules as far as where the eyes go on the head. Um, usually when we're talking about cartoony looking people, the eyes are going to be exaggerated to be much larger. And maybe the nose and mouth might be a little bit smaller than normal, but we're still putting them in about the same places on the face or on the head. And then there's different styles for how to draw in the separate features. So lots of different ways that you can use emotions. Just in the eyes alone, you can look at these examples and tell what emotion that person is feeling. Same thing with mouths. Depending on how you sketch in the mouth, are they neutral? Are they smiling? Are they happy? Are they angry? Are they yelling? Are they sad? And, you know, using just simplified shapes is totally fine. And then hairstyle. We talked a lot about hairstyles when we did our um, realistic looking portraiture, but we can certainly get some different looking ones in here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some practice with drawing with that anime style. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with the circle for the head. Now this time we're going to do things a little bit differently. Last time we started with our egg shape. This time we're going to start with the circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a male and a female at the same time here. So, um, you know, the proportions are going to be about the same, but of course, you know, the features of the face might be a little bit different. Now for um, the jawline, I'm actually going to draw that down below my initial circle. So the jaw is going to be a little bit different. For a lady, the chin might be just a little bit pointier for the guy, for the man, the male. Um, it might be a little bit stronger, a little bit more angular, a little bit wider of a chin for a boy as opposed to a girl. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take where this line is here, where it is at the bottom of these initial circles. I'm just going to sketch a line kind of over from that area. I'm also going to sketch a really light line down the center just to kind of give that halfway point. I will be erasing a lot of this stuff, so make sure that you are sort of, you know, sketching lightly enough that we can erase. Now for the eye line, I'm still going to find about the halfway mark here from the jaw to the top of the head to make in the eye line. Okay. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in eyes. Now I can make my eyes really large, so um, I can even take another guideline to kind of help me where those eyes are going to be, because generally in anime, our eyes are going to be pretty large. So just like before, you know, I'm going to start with that lid, the eyelid shape. I might, depending on what kind of style I'm working with, I might do flatter eyes. I might do more open eyes. Uh, maybe on this guy over here, I'll do a different shape of eyelid. And remember that the eyes can be really expressive, so they can really show how that person is feeling. And I'm not going to draw in the full eye because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the features of the person's 
eyes to kind of give the idea of the eyelids being in there instead of having a hard line for them. And that's really something that's done a lot in anime style is doing, you know, different shapes of the, the eyes. Now for the, the girl, I'm doing more exaggerated eyes. For the boys, I'm doing kind of more realistic, smaller eyes. You can do both on both. So, you know, you don't have to make one of them just for girls or just for boys. They can be either one. So maybe for this girl, I'll just give her some smaller pupils. I might give her a couple highlights in her eyes. Maybe just a couple little marks to show that she has a color in her iris. A couple little eyelashes coming off the sides. Maybe more exaggerated top shade on her top eyelid here. I like to leave a little highlight in there. And maybe some eyebrows. Remember eyebrows kind of arch up and over the eye. Okay. Depending on how the emotion of your character is going to go, depending, you know, kind of decide what does that emotion look like on the eyebrow? Because your eyebrows can be very expressive as well. Um, noses for anime, you know, you can just do a little tiny nose. You don't have to make them big, but you can also make them stronger looking noses. And just notice how I just use a simple shape of some kind to make a little nose. And same thing with the mouth. The mouth can be pretty, pretty neutral. A smile, um, sort of the more naturalistic style of the mouth is doing those two top lip bumps. Um, and then maybe just, just a little indication of where the bottom lip is. Um, you know, something like that. This guy looks pretty serious. She's looking pretty happy. <laughs> and then um, the eye line is generally how big I make the ears, kind of stretching down from the eye about to where the nose is for people with anime and with people in realistic portraits. And now I can go through and give these people hair. So again, you know, kind of starting with establishing that hairline, I might go about halfway between the, the eyebrows and the top of the head, yeah. just to kind of establish a general place for that to start. And then I think about, you know, where does that person's hair grow? We talked a lot about how in class, how our hair kind of grows around our head. We have cowlicks. There's areas where the hair kind of grows in certain shapes. You know, like here it might go this way and from here it might go this way. So I'm just kind of taking those things into consideration as I draw this person. You know, for the for the lady, you know, I might decide that, you know, she does have a part in her hair. Um, and, you know, same exact thing as when we were doing our more realistic look. I might just use that same technique of kind of just creating the contour of that hair kind of coming around and down. And you can give this person shoulders or whatever you'd like to do. Um, with the ladies, they usually have more slender necks. Um, with the gentlemen, usually a little bit thicker necks kind of help show their gender. Sometimes you can give them like nice little muscles in the neck like that to show he's a, he's a serious strong guy. Okay, so that's just kind of basics of drawing anime style in either more bubbly, exaggerated, bigger eyes, or more naturalistic style. And you can mix and match these things with both of them. Like I could give, you know, him a more small nose, or I could give her the more naturalistic mouth. So just remember those shapes and those contours are going to help you figure out the motions and how they really end up looking at the end. And then, of course, you can go through and erase your guidelines at the end when you're done. Okay, so those are your basics.